Hello everyone. I had the idea to make this video and so many of you suggested I do it that I figured I would. What does the goth wear when she is carrying a demonic clutch of eggs, or rather, when she is with child? At this stage, I'm about 34 weeks. Oh my god. Not only is my poor belly big and round, but I've put weight on everywhere else, which I am repeatedly assured is normal and will come off afterwards. But I feel more insecure than ever about the appearance of my body, and filming this is making me dreadfully self-conscious, even though I am completely amazed by what my body has already achieved. For starting with an outfit, I wore to drinks at a friend's the other night. This outfit is entirely second-hand, except the accessories. It's a plain, soft, sleeveless maxi dress, over which is a soft, mesh, cardi type thing. The boots have a bit of mud on them, sorry, but this is New Zealand. This Killstar belt with a skull is having a hard time, but it's so cool, I love it. And I've matched it with a skull necklace, skull earrings, and a skull bracelet from Alchemy Gothic, because even while creating new life, it's always important to think about death. Now for something a bit more glam. I'd wanted this glorious duster from Killstar for ages and figured now is the perfect time for it. It ties up and hangs down from the chest with super long witchy sleeves that actually aren't annoying. For jewellery I wore these big black gem earrings with a fairly matching necklace also from Killstar. I put the duster over a simple lace trimmed tank top and plain maxi skirt so all very comfortable but very glamorous. In a similar vein is this, for which I must say a very big thank you to Susan Crichton for sending me this wonderful robe from my Amazon wishlist. I just love it, thank you. It's for being swooshy and stylish at home, but I'd quite happily wear it out. It has lovely big lantern sleeves and is so comfy. I swapped the belt for a thin PVC one and again just put it over a maxi skirt and tank top, the most versatile garments on earth. Seriously though, a tank top and maxi skirt goes a long way. Here's a plainer tank top with a nice bolero over it. This has pretty much been my go-to the whole time. A long skirt pulled right up and a top and a cardi or similar over it with or without a belt. Lastly, some leggings. At last. I do own black maternity jeans, but frankly they're quite ugly and not worth looking at, and leggings tend to be soft and stretchy. These leggings are from Primark, and this long velvet top is from H&M, one of the only H&Ms in New Zealand. I usually wear this with this velvet hoodie by Necessary Evil from Kate's Clothing. It's perfect because it doesn't do up in the front. Paired with flat shoes or comfortable boots looks good. These shoes are a bit mingin', but one has few options at this time, and also it becomes rather hard to reach one's feet. So thank you for watching and I hope anyone else out there who may be reproducing at this time has gleaned a bit of inspiration. I hope I've proven it needn't be difficult or expensive to look macabre while being a human beach ball. Do please subscribe to my channel and as always take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay miraculous and I will see you next time. Bye!